Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this sunglass holder. The kit I'm using to make it is KCXC08. Okay, in the kit you've got four different colors of size 11 delicate beads. Uh, you've got some Ceylon, some black Ceylon thread, and some of these eyeglass holders. Okay, and then I'm also using uh, size 10 beading needles. Okay. So you'll see this is actually a really simple pattern. It's just a row of uh, brick stitch stars that are connected um, to make your sunglass holder and then attached to the holders at the end. Um, using the Ceylon thread makes it, makes it really nice and flexible. It's not as stiff as if you were using Fireline, which is quite nice for a, for a pair of sunglass holders. Um, okay, now, as I said, it's just simple brick stitch, okay? But this is a good pattern for me to be able to show you some of the, the areas where people have difficulty using brick stitch. Uh, so I will show you how to follow a pattern, how to get started, how to increase and decrease the rows, and also how to add one bead at the point of uh, a, ple a piece of uh, brick stitch, because that's another area where people have trouble. Okay, so I'm going to show you the medium sized star here. The larger and the smaller are just one, one extra row bigger all the way around. Um, so that's quite simple, okay? So, I've got my pattern here and I've got a little ruler. Now, when you start something that's brick stitch, it's a really versatile stitch because you can make any sort of shape that you like. But the, the problem people have is where to start. So normally where you would start is you would find the widest point of your pattern because you can't start brick stitch with one bead. Uh, you can start it with two, but it's quite difficult to hold on to, as you might imagine. So you would start at the widest point. So in that case, it's this row here. Okay, You could start in this row here as well. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start with this row here. Okay. So I threaded my needle. I've put on a stop bead, but I've left quite a long tail, about uh, probably 20 centimeters, about 8 inches. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Okay, I'm going to work my way up to this point of the star and then I don't have to come back again with my thread down here. I, I can just finish my thread off at the top and then I can use the tail thread to add on this last little bit at the bottom here. You don't have to do it that way. I just like to do it that way because it makes it a bit easier. Okay, so I've got my stopper bead on, right? Now I'm going to thread on my first row of beads. Now that would be this row here. So I've got four gold beads, three pink ones, and then four gold again. Now the way that you put on your beads to begin with is basically a ladder stitch. So you're going to pick up two gold beads. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, so I've picked up two gold beads. Okay, bring them down to my stop bead. Okay. Then I'm going to go in a circle around to the first bead that I picked up, okay, and go through that first bead again. Okay, so I'm making a circle here, like so. Okay, you can see that there. Okay, I'm going to pull it down to my stop bead. Okay, now you'll see the two beads are sitting nicely next to each other, like they are in the pattern. And I need to carry on with the beads in this direction, so I need to be coming out of this last bead with my thread. So I'm going to carry on around the circle that I made, and I'm going to go down the second bead. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to carry on adding beads one at a time in the same way. So I picked up another bead, then I'm making another circle around this previous bead that I added. Okay, so the next bead now sits next to those. And again, I need to be coming out of the last bead along. So I'm going up that bead. Okay, so now I've got three gold ones there. In the beginning, they kind of sit a little bit wonky, but don't worry about that because later on it will tighten up and straighten up nicely. So I'm picking up the fourth gold bead, going back up the last one again. Okay, so now I've got four. And again, I'm going down this last bead here. So I'm coming out of that last bead. There, so I've, now I've got my four gold beads next to each other. Now, according to the pattern, I need three pink ones. So again, one at a time. I'm going to add on three 
of these burgundy pinkish ones. Okay, so that's one. Next one. And then the third one. Okay, then looking at my pattern, I've got my four gold, my four red, or burgundy, sorry, three burgundy, and now I need another four gold. So now I'm picking up another gold again. Okay. Come down this last bead. Then another gold. Make sure you're always going around in a circle so my thread is coming out at the bottom of this bead I don't want to go up that bead I want to come in the same direction that my thread is already passing through it so essentially making a circle and then carry on that circle by going up the last bead okay so that's my second one then I've got my third one here And then the fourth one. Okay, and again I'm going through that last bead so that I'm coming out of the last bead. So that's my first row. It looks a bit higgledy piggledy at the moment, but like I said, don't worry about that. They will all straighten up later on. Okay, so now I'm looking at the next row. So now I'm at this end here. So now I'm working my way backwards. Okay. So, in this pattern it doesn't really matter which way you're working because it's the same in both directions. But if you had a pattern that was different on one side, just remember that you're going along your beads in a zigzag fashion like so. Okay? So, my first bead here is a gold bead. And you'll see, if you compare to the previous row, this gold bead is sitting in between the last two gold beads in the previous row. Okay? So essentially I'm doing a decrease here because my rows are getting shorter. So now I'm going to actually pick up the first two beads in the next row. So I'm picking up the gold and the burgundy. Okay, so I pick up a gold and a burgundy bead. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the thread bridges which go in between the beads in my previous row. So now I'm not going through a bead, I'm just going under the thread. Okay, here. Because I'm decreasing, I'm not going to go under the first thread bridge here. I'm going under the second one. Okay? So I'm skipping over the first one and I'm going under the second little bit of thread that goes between this bead and the next one. So between the second and third beads there. Okay? Like so. Put your thread through. Okay? And then what you want to do is you want to go back up the last bead that you added. So in this case, that's the burgundy. Okay, so you've created a little loop here under that thread bridge and that loop is what holds your next row of beads in place. Okay, now you'll see that the burgundy is sitting very nice and neatly, but this gold here, because you're coming out of that last bead, is kind of sitting at an angle. So you want to fix that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back down that gold bead again. Okay. And then you're going to go up the burgundy bead again. Okay. So effectively what this will do, if you if you watch where the thread is, it's going to pull the bottom edges of those two beads together. So they sit, if you pull it really nice and tight, they now sit neatly next to each other up close. Okay. Now you're going to carry on down your row. So that's the row that we're following there. So I've got my gold and my first pink, so now I'm doing the next pink, okay, or the next burgundy. Okay, so now I'm going under the next thread bridge, picked up one bead, go under the next thread bridge and go back up the bead that you just added. Okay, now that one sits there nicely. Then do that again, so pick up another bead. Go under the very next thread bridge here. Yeah. 
then go back up through this burgundy bead put it tight and it's sitting right nicely next to it there okay pick up the next one under the next thread bridge back up Obviously in the beginning it's a little bit fiddly because it's hard to hold on to it. And just like with peyote stitch it will get easier when you have more to hold on to. So just add your beads on according to your pattern one at a time. Make sure you go under the thread bridge between those two beads that are the next two beads. Okay, then up through your bead. Okay, so you see I've got all pink beads along here, except for the last one. Let's just carry on with these bag and deeds. Okay. So you can count how many beads you need in this color. So in the pattern, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need one more of this burgundy. Okay. And then I need one gold. Okay, so I pick up one gold and I add it on in the same way. So under the thread bridge. And then back up through the bead I've just added. Okay. Now I'm decreasing at this end as well. So here all I need to do is just stop there. So you can see I've stopped a bit short of the previous row. Which is how my pattern is here as well. Next row is a bit shorter than the previous one. Okay. So now moving on to this row, and I'm going to do that in exactly the same way. I'm going to flip it over because I find it easier to hold this way. Okay, and again I'm decreasing there. So I'm picking up the first two, now I'm starting on this end. So I'm picking up the gold and the burgundy again. So pick up a gold and a burgundy. Skip over the first thread bridge and go under the second one. Okay, then back up through the burgundy again. Okay, and again you've got your gold bead sitting kind of wonky on the edge. So you want to basically you want to do a loop of thread going around those two beads to pull them together close to each other. So I'm going down the gold and up the burgundy. I want to pull it tight. Then they sit nicely next to each other. Okay? So just carry on this row and the next row. Okay? And now we'll pick up again from there. Okay, so now you'll see in my pattern, I've done this middle row here, that row there, so that I've got my gold, two burgundies, two gold, two burgundies, and another gold. Okay, that's my shortest row across the middle there. So from here, I need to increase the length of the rows. Okay, so you'll see I'm at this end here now. Uh, I'm going to pick up the first two again um, from the next row, so another gold and then another burgundy. Okay, so I pick up gold and a burgundy. Now because I'm increasing here, I need this row to be a bit longer. I'm not going to go through under the second thread bridge like I did when I was decreasing. I'm actually going to go under the very first one. Okay. So I'm going right under the thread there, which goes between the first two beads in my previous row. Okay. And then the same as I did before, I'm going back up the last bead, so back up the burgundy. Okay, and then you'll see, in this case, they sit quite nicely next to each other, so you don't need to do the extra loop. Because now, um, they sit really close together. So just like that, and you've increased at the beginning of your row. Okay. Then you're going to carry on your row. 
as before so now I'm working on that row there so I need to have three burgundies here so this is number two go under the second thread bridge now so the very next one okay back up with my bead and then I need another burgundy Okay, then I need one gold. Okay, then I need three burgundies again. Let's pick one up, go back through the bead. That's one. This is number two. And then this is number three. Okay, now I'm increasing at this end as well because I need this row to be longer than the previous one. If you have a look at the pattern, you can see the previous one finishes short and then this one gets a bit longer. Okay which will work out if you, as long as you count how many beads you need to add. So I've added my three burgundies. Now I need to add a gold, which will come here to make this row longer. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my gold bead. Now there's no more thread bridges left because I've used the last one uh, for this bead here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to use that thread bridge again. So I'm just going under the last thread bridge. There's already a bead there. Don't worry about that, just go through under that same thread bridge again. Okay, pull your thread through, go back up your gold bead, same as before, and you'll see it sits very nicely in place where it should. Okay, so for the next row you carry on again in the same way. So that was that row there with the one gold in the middle. So now I'm doing the next row where again I'm increasing, so I'm going longer, so I'm picking up the gold and the burgundy, gold and the burgundy, and I'm going through under the very first thread bridge again. Okay, and then back up through the burgundy bead, like so, and that's the first two beads of my next row there. Okay, so now I'm just going to carry on, finish this row, and I'm going to finish this row here, which is exactly the same, so I'm uh, increasing again at both ends to get that row done there as well. Okay? Right, so now, as you see, I've finished this row here, okay, with my four gold beads and the three burgundies and then the four gold beads again. Okay? So now I just have this little triangle, the point of my star, to add on. Okay? Now currently, if you look at this row, my thread is coming out of this last gold bead here. Okay? I need my thread to be coming out of this first burgundy bead here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the second gold bead, okay? Then I'm going to come up again through the third gold bead, okay? Then back down through the fourth one, and then out through the first burgundy bead. Okay, so now my thread is in the right position to carry on with my next row, which will be this row here. Okay, so I'm picking up a gold and a burgundy. Okay, a gold and a burgundy. Okay, and then I'm going under the very first thread bridge. So under the thread bridge that's between those first two gold beads, the first two burgundy beads. Okay. I'm going to go back up through the burgundy bead. Okay, now I've added those two in the correct position. If you'll see, the first gold here is sitting between the gold and the burgundy in the previous row. So that's that gold bead there, which is sitting between those two beads there. And I've got the next burgundy on there as well. Okay, so now I need another burgundy bead. So under the next thread bridge, and then a gold, okay, there we go, 
so that's that row done then I'm turning over again and now I'm decreasing again because the next row is shorter again so I'm picking up a gold and a burgundy again gold and a burgundy and then I'm going under the second thread bridge this time because I'm decreasing so I'm going between the two burgundies in the previous row okay up through this last bead that I added okay and then again because I'm decreasing I've got this little wonky edge bead here so I just do a loop through there so I go back down that gold bead and up the burgundy again okay and when you put it tight you'll see they sit nicely next to each other okay and then I just need to add one more gold here okay and up that gold bead okay that's my next row done okay then my next row is only two gold beads and I'm decreasing again so now I'm just picking up those two gold beads okay and then I'm going through the second thread bridge again so not through the first one but the second one because I'm decreasing okay up through this gold and once again I have my wonky edge bead there so I do my little circle so back down this gold bead and up the other one okay so now I've got my two beads there okay and now for the last row I just need one bead there so how am I going to add that one bead well you have two options really depending on um, what you want your design to look like and also what whether your thread is the same color as your beads if your thread is the same color as your beads and it doesn't matter if you have a little bit of thread showing what you can do is just pick up flip it around pick up one gold bead okay go under the thread bridge okay I'm not going to actually do it because then I'll have to go back and undo it again but basically you would have you would go under your thread bridge and then go back up as if you were just adding a normal bead in your brick stitch okay so your thread would go this bead would flip the other way okay so it would sit like so okay and you would show a bit of thread on the side of that bead okay so that's one option okay the other option which most people like to do is to just pick up your one bead okay you're coming out of this gold bead on the edge pick up your one gold bead go back down the other gold bead okay and now this last gold bead here is sitting on its side okay but because the beads are almost square if you look at them from the top you can't really tell and um, you know it's not very noticeable that that bead is sitting on its side um, and this way you're not thre showing any thread so it doesn't matter if your thread doesn't match your beads 100% in the color so this is how I like to add one bead to the end of it okay now you can take this thread and finish it off so just go through a few beads go back and forth a few times do a few loops with the thread going over itself just to make sure it's nice and tight and it won't come undone okay right then you can take off that thread there okay and then to do the other point all you do is you take off your stopper bead okay you thread your needle onto your tail thread and then you'll see you're in exactly the same position as where I was when I started this triangle here okay so you just weave your way through the gold beads again until you're coming out of the burgundy and then you add on the triangle at the bottom which is exactly the same as the triangle at, at the top so you're just going to do exactly what I did here Okay, so I'm just going to do that quickly and then I'll come back. Right, so now I've finished my little star. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I attach the stars to each other and how I attach them to the sunglass holder. Okay, so in this one, I'm just going to pretend this is my first star which goes onto my sunglass holder and then the rest are all joined up in the same way. So I'm just going to join this one 
directly to the sign gloss holder. Okay, so now I've added, just added the last point bead here, which is the one that's sitting on the side. So my thread is coming out of this first gold bead underneath it. Okay, it's there. So now I'm going to go back up through the gold bead that's next to it here. Okay, and through this bead that's at the point. Because that's where I want my thread to be coming out of. Okay, then for these sections here and these sections here, I've added on 10 beads each time. Okay, so I'm going to pick up now 10 of these burgundy ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Bring them down. Then I'm going to pick up another 10, which is the little loop that's going to go through my sunglass holder. Okay. So I'm going to do the gold ones this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then I'm going to go through my sunglass holder or glasses holder. Okay, you'll see the beads fit through there nicely. And obviously you can move this little spring up and down as you need to. Okay. Then I'm going to go back through all of the burgundy beads. Okay, so I'm skipping over the first 10 or the last 10 beads that I added, which in this case are the gold. And I'm going through the burgundy ones. Okay, until I'm coming out with the last one. Okay. So you'll see now I've got a little loop there going through the glasses holder okay now when I started these burgundy ones my thread was coming out of this side of this gold bead okay now I want to go through go back into the other side so essentially so I'm not going back through the same side again because then my my attachment is going to come out of one side of that gold bead so I need to go into the other side of it like so Okay, so you see I've got one thread coming out one side, that's the one I, that I just went through, and the other thread on the other side of the gold bead is what I started with. Okay, put it tight, okay, and that's my little join there to the glasses holder. Now, I did go through it again, just to stre uh, strengthen it, so I go back through the burgundies again, back through all the golds, back down through the burgundies, and through this one again, uh, and then finish off your thread. Okay, and then I actually use the new separate thread to join the two stars together. So again, um, I just started a new thread. I went through the gold here, added the 10 black through the gold in this other direction, back through the black again, and then back through the gold again. So in a, kind of like a loop, like so. Okay, and then the same thing here. And then for the section in the middle, I did exactly the same. I just did obviously a longer length. To whatever length you want your glasses holder to be. Okay, and that's basically it. Nice and simple.